All right, guys, I'm gonna share a very easy visualization method for having vivid day dreams. Daydreams, vivid, lucid daydreams, whatever you wanna call them. Um, and really, this is an exercise in, in uh, imagination and visualization. So, a number of you have been wondering, can you lucid dream in the daytime? I did answer that in a previous video. Uh, I actually made a video about lucid napping, I don't know if you remember, uh, in which I explained that you can have lucid dreams in the daytime, all you need to do is have a nap, and have, it, have a long enough nap that you enter REM sleep. That's how you have lucid dreams in the daytime. Easy to do, because conditions, uh, conditions are optimum, like, you know, in, in the middle of the day, because you have a lot of serotonin running through your body. Uh, however, the difficult part, and this is certainly the difficult part for me, is it, it's hard to fall asleep because it's the middle of the day. And, and like I say, you've got serotonin running through your body. So although the serotonin contributes to awareness and uh, logical thinking, the fact that you have little, very little melatonin running through your blood means it's hard to fall asleep. But if you can manage to fall asleep in the day, like many people can, then you'll find it easy to lucid dream. So yeah, you can lucid dream in the daytime. However, lucid daydreaming is something very different. And I want to just explain it like this. So, when you, ha when you try and incubate a lucid dream, when you try and induce and create a lucid dreaming scene, the most important thing, the most useful skill that you can have is imagination, creativity. And most people don't practice that, but here's, here's what you do. So you sit down for 10 minutes a day, start with 10 minutes a day, that's fine. And you close your eyes. And all you're gonna do is just visually and vividly imagine a scene. It can be anything, it can be anywhere. Start on a beach, that's, that's where I like to start, and then I turn back around and I look at the rest of the island and explore the trees and that sort of thing, but you can start anywhere really. It might even be easier to imagine somewhere you've already been, you know, like a city that you know well or something like that. And just imagine yourself slowly walking through that scene. That's all you're gonna do at this point, you just imagine yourself slowly walking through the scene. Let's start with the beach. So I'm on, so I'm on the beach. I wish I was actually on a beach right now, that would be kind of cool to show you, but I'm not. So, so you turn around, you look, engage your senses, think, what can you smell, what can you hear, see, you know, can you taste the, the sea air? And uh, slowly start playing with those details, slowly start asking yourself questions. What are, what's the sky? You know, what are the clouds looking like? Is it cold? And the more you engage your senses, the more the dream, or the daydream I should say, will unfold around you. And it will become very, by the way, if you're watching this and you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. I always forget to ask you guys that, uh, which is probably why Explore Lisa Dreaming has way more subs than me, but you know, <laughs> what can you do? So visually imagine that you're walking through this scene. Engage your senses, okay? Very important, engaging your senses. And as you do this, you will find that the, the daydream unfolds around you. Because as you ask yourself questions, your subconscious mind, or you know, the creative aspect of your mind will start to fill in the gaps. It will start to show you what the, what the scene is and what details are there. You don't need to create it, and this is one of the, mo the most common misconceptions about daydreaming and lucid dreaming in general, okay? You don't need to consciously create the dream scene. That's not what you need to do. Really what you're doing is you're just exploring the dream scene that is, that is already being created by your subconscious mind. Um, like in Inception, I think the famous quote was something like, I'm of course going to paraphrase it terribly, uh, something like, in a dream, you create and perceive the world simultaneously. And so really by being lucid, all you're doing, this is not part of the quote, by the way, uh, by being lucid, all you're doing is uh, you are getting in the middle of that process. You are experiencing the dream as at the same time as your subconscious mind is creating it. You're not consciously creating anything. You're just exploring it. Uh, the creation process is done for you by the subconscious mind. It's this, very much the same as, uh, for example, you're not beating your heart right now. You know, you're not consciously doing that. You're just experiencing a heartbeat. Uh, your subconscious mind is doing that. So just leave all of the hard work to your subconscious mind, as you do on a day-to-day -day basis without realizing it, taking it for granted, and just explore the daydream. See the scene unfold around you. And eventually you'll get so good at this that you'll be able to guide it in a certain way. You'll be able to think, uh, you'll be able to sort of tease your subconscious mind to create certain scenes and certain aspects of this daydream, or lucid dream if you're doing this as a, a vile, visually incubated lucid dream. Uh, which, by the way, there are loads of videos on these, these topics on my channel. Just go and check them out, and make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, that sort of thing.
So I hope this helps, guys. You know, by, and by doing this, by practicing this um, visualization exercise, you'll find it much easier to do things like the wild, the visually in induced lucid dream. Uh, you'll find it easier to do the wild because you can sort of guide the guide your subconscious to create a certain dream scene in a certain way. And uh, yeah, it's a good way of being being more in control of the dream scene and what is in your, the content of your dreams, where you actually are and what you're actually doing. So, hope you enjoyed this video guys. See you next time, leave a comment, make sure you, uh, you do hit that subscribe button and click the little bell, you know that little, that funny little um, notification bell that all of the YouTubers are telling you to click. Basically, unless you click that, YouTube won't show you my videos. Damn, damn YouTube algorithm. Anyway, make sure you click that and uh, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna keep walking aimlessly back and forward on this uh, little stretch of ground here until I filmed, I don't know, let's say five more videos. I like it today, I'm feeling, I'm feeling five videos. All right, leave a comment. See you next time, done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel were supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.